Welcome back guys, you're watching Entrepreneur and in this video we're going to be going over the daily updates and news for Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets. If you guys are new to this channel, remember to subscribe and also turn on those post notifications if you guys enjoy daily cryptocurrency videos just like this one, as well as other helpful tips on trading, investing, and building your wealth. So um, just before we get into it, if you guys have not checked out our description before, we do have a few resources for you. Uh, the top 27 cryptos, which is a free download. That is the first link in the description. And we also offer our trading program, the Entrepreneur Investors Course. It is at the discounted price of, um, well, you guys can just go ahead and see the discounted price when you click on the link. Uh, but that is not going to last for much longer. It was supposed to be until July 31st, but uh, a few things happened and we had to extend the discount in order to put the content in so if you guys are interested definitely check all of that out and anything else in the description so getting into the video the market looks like it is taking a bit of a retracement okay so we'll get into the ta side of bitcoin in a moment here but uh, right now we're dealing with a bitcoin price right around 7500 7532 to be exact ethereum at 412 bitcoin cash 745 litecoin at 76 eos at 697 so Overall, we're really seeing the, the altcoins lack uh, behind Bitcoin. As you can see, we're seeing some lower levels even from when Bitcoin was at 5,800. Some of these coins are seeing lower levels than that point. So altcoins really lacking behind at this point. Uh, we have a few altcoins that are starting to push up, show some signs of rejuvenation of these altcoins. However, uh, we need to see a push from Bitcoin to allow for these altcoins to start to really see uh, a bigger push. I mean, some of these altcoins, V chain down to 176, Walt and chain down to four dollars, Icon almost breaking that one dollar barrier, pushing down to 99 cents, Zilliqa back to, to six cents. So a lot of these altcoins really taking a beating uh, upon Bitcoin's drop in price. I think a lot of people are waiting for a move in Bitcoin before throwing money into altcoins. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can see for Bitcoin. So this is a longer term chart, guys, on the one day time interval. We're looking at an overall wedge that we were seeing, a uh, sideways wedge that we were seeing on Bitcoin's uh, price chart for a long time. It had finally broke out of that, and now we are seeing a crucial point that we need to see either hold and push up, for, up from or we're going to see it drop down through. Uh, and unfortunately, that won't be the best of news for a lot of these altcoins and uh, some of the other projects. So as you can see, um, the overall resistance, right, that we were seeing, right, uh, it's kind of started around 12,000, came down, formed another resistance around 11.6, came down again, another one around 10,000, and then again around 75. And now uh, we are back at that point of 7,500, right along the resistance of uh, the top resistance of this wedge as well as on the 25 day ema looking to hold that and also just the resistance of 7500 so multiple points really strengthening the belief that this is a point where we need to see this support start to show uh, signs of horizontal movement or at least a push upwards I think it's going to be crucial to see us hold this point, not only for the longevity of Bitcoin's growth that we've been seeing over the past couple of weeks here, but uh, overall just strength and health in, in the altcoin market as well. I mean, like we just looked at, guys, a lot of these altcoins are taking a huge beating, um, seeing lower levels than we've ever seen before. I mean, Qtum at $6.54, that's insane. Um, a lot of these altcoins I just have not seen at this these low of levels. Um, Ontology at 249. Whew, uh, I mean, we're seeing just massive drops in price across the board from the altcoin market. So what I want to see again is we need to see a push up from Bitcoin in order to show some strength in the market and a push up uh, instead of a continued push down. Uh, as we've been seeing over the past few days here. So hopefully we can start to see some some strength in the altcoin market, some strength in Bitcoin's price movement. Um, and, you know, I'm looking at least in the next few days, I want to see something, uh, something positive start to push, even if we can just get a push, you know, back up to 78, 7900 and start to reach back up towards the point where we hit around 8500. Uh, I believe a lot of it is going to be because of a story I will we are about to touch on um, but you know overall guys we really need to start to see some strength 
in Bitcoin in order to allow the altcoin market to really start to recover. So jumping into our first news story of today, I just really wanted to touch on this because I myself actually just put a, a good amount of money on a trade for Litecoin, uh, but Litecoin trading at massive discount, says analyst. So let's get into this. So Litecoin, the seventh largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, could be trading at a massive discount to what it could be worth. Uh, according to, re to a research report published by Matty Greenspan, a senior market analyst at the social trading platform eToro, the report argues that while Litecoin has historically been seen as a contender to Bitcoin with its faster and cheaper transactions, it is also one of the most liquid digital currencies in existence, has a, har has a large market cap, and acts as an important gateway from fiat currencies and into the crypto world. I don't know if a lot of you guys use Litecoin, but I haven't used Bitcoin to get into altcoins in a long time um, because uh, in the past, what I've had issues with is when I go on Coinbase, you know, I, I buy uh, Bitcoin from Coinbase, I transfer it over to Binance and then look to sell it into USDT or whatever, whatever I'm trying to buy. Sometimes the transactions just can just take way too long. Sometimes, you know, those transactions are going to take me anywhere from 10 minutes to four hours. They've taken me up to four hours uh, in the, the height of, you know, volume or whatever it may be. Um, the network is not as quick as Litecoin's network. So um, I haven't used Bitcoin in almost six months to transfer anything. Every time I'm buying new cryptocurrency, I always buy Litecoin transfer it over to whatever exchange I'm looking to buy things on, then I sell it into Bitcoin and then sell it into Tether just because of the fact with Bitcoin's price volatility, uh, I can you know jump up $400 within t five minutes or drop $400 in five minutes. So uh, also, you know, the longer transaction time. So I uh, just wanted to touch on that, see if any of you guys use Litecoin uh, over Bitcoin because I know I do. Uh, Greenspan further claims that businesses, retailers, and exchanges are increasingly accepting payment in Litecoin, both in person and online, which adds to the real-world use cases of the silver to Bitcoin's gold. As reported back in July, the Litecoin Foundation, in partnership with the Swiss decentralized payment platform TokenPay, acquired a 19.8% stake in Germany-based WEG Bank. Also, there is an option to purchase as much as 90% in the bank. The takeover of the bank is widely believed to have implications for the mainstream adoption of Litecoin as a means of payment. So, guys, this is huge, okay? As reported back in July, the Litecoin Foundation, in partnership with the Swiss decentralized payment platform TokenPay, acquired a 19.8% stake in Germany-based WEG Bank. If you guys don't know what WG Bank is, it's a pretty big bank in Germany. And if Litecoin, the Litecoin Foundation, if they have the uh, the option to purchase basically the majority of the bank and take over the majority, be the owners of the bank, that would be huge for Litecoin specifically, but not only Litecoin, cryptocurrency in general. So I really want you guys to think about the implications that that could have on mainstream cryptocurrency adoption and the overall price of Litecoin. The research paper goes on to compare Litecoin's fall of 81% from its all-time high in December last year with the overall decline in the crypto market of 71%, suggesting that this could mean that Litecoin is oversold at current levels. So right now I think Litecoin's around 85 or $86. I just bought uh, a bunch yesterday and then this morning as well. Um, not, not saying that I want you guys to buy any. Absolutely not. I already know that Litecoin's price, uh, at least my belief is that Litecoin's price is going to go up uh, exponentially in the next few years. And um, so yeah, I just want to read this because I think it's very interesting, especially the, the acquisition of a very large bank, the possibility thereof. Uh, if that does happen, that could have huge, uh, absolutely huge implications on the cryptocurrency markets. So uh, moving into the final story and kind of the biggest story, the Winklevoss Twins Bitcoin ETF application got rejected by the SEC. Uh, so this is something that I do believe could have affected this market in a bad way and why we're starting to see a drop in Bitcoin. Uh, but the SEC has rejected the application for a Bitcoin exchange traded fund by brothers Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, according to a re release published by the SEC. 
Thursday, July 26th. So uh, the drop in Bitcoin actually came a little late. So let's see, looks like 26 was actually, okay, so we saw a pretty big drop on the 26th down to about 7,800 uh, and then pushed up and continued to drop. So um, that makes sense. But um, that's BZX exchange filed a proposed rule change with the SEC to allow it to list and trade share of the Winklevoss Bitcoin Trust in 2016. The first application for a Bitcoin ETF by the Winklevoss twins was rejected by the SEC in March 2017. The stated reason being for the largely unregulated nature of Bitcoin markets. The agency said then when the spot market is unregulated, there must be significant regulated derivatives markets related to the underlying asset with which the exchange can enter into a surveillance sharing agreement. Okay, so they're mainly concerned about the regulation part uh, of the Bitcoin ETF. Um, but moving down here, I do want to get to the bulk of why it did get denied. So uh, regarding the Winklevoss claim that crypto markets are uniquely resistant to manip manipulation, the agency said that the record before the commission does not support such a conclusion, basically saying that they think it's being manipulated. Uh, the SEC further emphasized that the rejection of the petition did not hinge on whether cryptocurrencies or blockchain technology have uh, utility or value as an innovation or an investment. Um, rather, the commission is disapproving this proposed rule change because BZX has not met its burden under the exchange and the commission's rule of practice to demonstrate that its proposal is consistent with the requirements of Exchange Act, in particular that uh, the requirement that its rules be designed to prevent fraudulent and manipulative acts and practices. So, guys, uh, one thing that this article does not talk about is... Um, the Winklevoss twins proposal for the ETF was actually based only off Gemini's exchange. So they would only have the price based off of Gemini's uh, price, you know, the price on Gemini's exchange. So if it were like that, manipulation could be very easy because Gemini already doesn't get a, a ton of volume. It's not one of the top exchanges getting a massive amount of volume. It definitely gets volume, but um, it could easily be manipulated if the, the ETF were only based off of Gemini's uh, price because it's not the, it would not be a global average, which it should have been, uh, which it should have been in the proposal. I think I think the SEC is kind of waiting for a Bitcoin ETF proposal to meet all of their requirements, and then they are willing to pass it. I just think that this one did not meet it, mainly because they were basing the price off of Gemini's price, uh, their own exchange. So until we see all of the SEC's rules met, I don't think we're going to see a Bitcoin ETF. But we'll have to wait a few more weeks. I think there's one in September as well. Uh, and when that happens, hopefully we will have a more positive tone in our video covering the Bitcoin ETF. So hopefully we get a Bitcoin ETF soon, but this one was not it. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Uh, I am looking again to see Bitcoin continue to hold this point of about 7,500. Uh, but those of you guys who are looking for a long term trade, I would suggest Litecoin as one of them. Uh, considering such a large discount. Another one I would go for is NEO. Um, NEO is at a, an extremely low price. Not sure if you guys were trading cryptocurrency back uh, last year, but um, I would have been very excited. Uh, I, I never thought we would even see a price of $27 of NEO again, ever again, to be honest. So very excited for that. So if you guys are looking for any long-term trades, NEO and Litecoin are what I'm looking at right now. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're new, hit that notification bell and subscribe if you guys, are, if you guys want to. And also check out any of our resources in the description. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video.